Special Security Operation Task Force, which is headed by the Gambia Police Force and various stakeholders, including line ministries and road safety organizations, continues to undertake its crackdown on illegal encroachment along highways nationwide. The, the initiatives, which initially started in the Greater Banjul area, aims to demolish both permanent and temporary structures that are in violation of laws governing road safety and public order. Now, this joint effort by the government and relevant agencies is crucial in ensuring the safety of the public and maintaining order on the roads. Our reporter, Kadijat Jallo, tells us more in this report. Still counting on the nationwide road clearing of illegal encroachment, the Gambia Police Force and government are determined to reclaim the streets for safe and smooth travel. This initiative aims to address the persistent issue of unauthorized structures obstructing the roadways, ensuring better traffic flow and reducing the risk of accidents. By targeting illegal encroachments, they are taking a proactive approach to maintain order and prioritize the safety of all road users. Bakari Mane, a representative from the National Road Authority, expressed concerns about the negative impact of illegal encroachments on the highway. He said these structures do not only lead to traffic congestion, but also disrupt the smooth flow of vehicles, which is against the law. This um, second-hand businessmen, um, Cantons whatsoever, they all empty their shops and put it on the pedestrian way. Thereby, from here to from Westfield, uh, leading up to Tabokota and beyond, is a nightmare. Uh, something that you some uh, place where you can spend less than 30 minutes. It, it happens to go beyond that one hour or two hours, something like that, which is not acceptable. It is showing bad image of this country. It's showing what is showing is this country has no Im uh, laws, and that is not right. We have very beautiful laws. It's just like our this um, um, connection, which we call locally, that's Maslaha syndrome, that we all know is wrong. But because no one is taking action, no laws are being applied on the ground, so anybody can do anything that you want. So encroachment in any, kind, in any form, we are here to take it off. But it is going with respect. Mr. Mani, however, added that nobody is above the law, so everyone is obliged to abide by it. No one is above the law. It, when it happens that my building, I am the one on the ground leading, my building or my, my uncle or whoever does a wrong thing on the ground, I don't differentiate, I will come and demolish, that's why I am taxed to do. So that's what we are doing. Currently we are here, we started at Old Joshua, uh, yes, Old Joshua as Tin Corner. Now we are heading all the way. And it's not only the highways. Some people are asking, they are only following the highways. We said routes. That's why we say operation clear the roads. Even at the small Johnson, the feeder roads, you know, we are all going. Because we know most of these me uh, mechanic garages occupied in within where people are settled. You know, so you go to uh, certain areas, you cannot even have access to your own compound. And what will, what will that lead to when there is a disaster, fire outbreak? It is impossible for fire brigade to come on time and put up that fire. So in essence, we are here to clean up everything. Illegal encroachment on the highway has become a present concern for authorities and road users. The unauthorized structures often built without proper permits or in prohibited areas contribute to traffic congestion and disrupt the smooth flow of vehicles. They do not only pose a safety risk, but also in the overall deficiency of transportation systems. Kadija Tujala reporting for Africa News.